Our top story. A small family is left grieving after a fatal fire Friday evening on Rutgersville. CBS 19's Stefan Dingle was there and has more details on this tragic fire. Stefan. Well, Lauren, it was a sad story indeed. A night that began as a little one's birthday celebration later turned into a tragedy as a small family is not only without a home, but without a loved one as well. Late Friday evening around 7.30 p.m., a call went out about a fire here at Collier's Point and Matthew Mills Road. And today, as drivers pass by, all that's left is a fresh smell of smoke that fills the air and the charred remnants of a family's home and their car. Um, it's not a good one. It's hard to believe right here at Christmas time. Something terrible could happen like that. According to a couple of GoFundMe pages that have been created for the family, the mother, Katie Ward, was celebrating one of her two sons' birthdays when tragedy took the life of one of the young boys. Um, the police knocked on the door and told us that we had to leave. Um, we noticed something was wrong there because the lights were flickering, but we weren't sure exactly why until we opened the door and then we seen that the whole trailer was up in flames. Not many neighbors were responsive, but the ones I spoke with says they didn't know Katie personally, as she had just moved into the trailer complex months ago and worked just down the road at the Sheets gas station. Neighbors say the family remains in their prayers. Now my heart goes out, especially for the, the girl and the, I don't know who the father is exactly, but from what I hear, you know, I do know who he is and my heart just goes out to both of them, especially right here Christmas time is sad. We worked together for a few years. So. I've known him pretty much all my life. He's a have good you guy. talked to him? Not yet. How do you think talked. he's probably feeling right now? Um, he's probably devastated. Rutgersville Volunteer Fire Department and the Greene County Law Enforcement said they are continuing their investigation into the cause of this fire. Now, if you want to donate and help this family get back on its feet, you can head over to newsplex.com and click on the link for this story to learn how. Live in the newsplex, the finding will CBS 19 News.